Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to change your Windows XP theme, which is basically the toolbar and and the Windows outline and just how everything's kind of laid out. So all the links to the stuff I'll be using will be right here. You can just click on these and uh, this right here is what I'm using to record the video so I will also have a link for that so first thing you're gonna wanna download this program Styler and a link will be found here or in the description and then after you download this you're gonna need a theme to change so go to customize.org and click the little arrow by browse and click XP themes so I've already got one picked out and and you're gonna wanna click download file and then click here and I've already got it downloaded and you should get a zip or a rar file and just extract that the inside will look like this. Just leave that how it is. And then open up Styler, which you should have just downloaded the first thing. And the only thing in there should be Windows XP style, which is your current style, I guess. And just you're going to want to drag this into the folder. Now your folder will be themes, but... Uh, yeah, you're just gonna... Okay. Well, don't use this theme. Um, some of them don't work, but I've already got some set up. So to use your theme, just double click on it. And it changes. Now to change back, you just click Windows XP style. And it'll go right back to what you had. And there's all kinds of different looks you can get. Like this looks the same as that, but uh, this one is black, and uh, as you can see, the boxes change the outline of the boxes. Yep. And then uh, let's see. I don't really use this one, but you can see it stuff changes alright so once you find a theme you want to use then some themes will make all the letters like really small and to change that you're just gonna want to click font and make sure you have that theme you're wanting to change selected and then I like my font size about 8 so you change all these to 8, and then click this little box right here. Use this setting, always, hit apply changes, and you should be good. Um, all these you don't really need to worry about, but, but yeah, there's lots of different themes that you can get, like this Mac theme, this weird one. But yeah, so, again, all of the links to what I used will be right here. You can just click any one of these, or they'll be in the description. So, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you next time.